at Ben and Kelly Show. Mm. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Great place to get a hold of us. Uh, send us a DM. We'll turn around, toss it out to our listeners, see what we can do for you. Yeah, Lana said, hey there, Ben and Kelly. Got a question. Um, my boyfriend, Sean, and I met online six months ago. Okay. We're now at the stage where we're meeting and going out with each other's friends and coworkers, and the question, how did you meet, is coming up. Sure. Sean prefers his friends and family not know that we met on an online dating site. Mm-hmm. Well, I have been up front with my circle of friends. I would rather get our history straight before these groups meet each other. Oh. So how do we balance his need for privacy with my openness? Hmm. I'd also like to use this as an example to destigmatize online dating for all my single friends. Oh, well, then there's Like that. it can work. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, it's 2023. Why that's I feel like that's becoming a traditional way of meeting someone. I know. Is there the stigma that used to be there? Like that was only for desperate people? Online dating? Yeah. I don't think it's it, you know, that bad of a thing anymore i think at the very beginning it was kind of viewed as well if you're really desperate that's where you go Mm -hmm. but Hmm. i don't think that's the case anymore i think that you know people are so busy with things and it's it's hard to meet people organically right just out in life and so this is i think a, a great way for people not only to meet people to date but to meet people when you move to a new city people right. like friends to hang out with that that kind of stuff Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I sure. I, I think that stigmatized uh, it is not as big a stigma, but maybe in Sean's eye, it yeah. still is. So yes, I guess, he's embarrassed about it. So right. what, what do we do here when he wants to try to make up a different story? Right, exactly. And Lana's like, hey, look, I just want, uh, let's rip the bandaid off. Hey, we met on Tinder, you know, or, or whatever. Like, yeah. it, that, that's our story. Like that's our story. Yes. So um it might not be the fairy tale meet cute that you wished you'd have, but the point is that you found someone who's your person and it really right. doesn't matter how you found them. Right. Okay. Uh if you've got any suggestions for how Lana can go about getting her <laughs> boyfriend on board. <laughs> Amy said, uh, I met my wife in foster parent classes. We were both married to other people. Could always be a worse story, Lana. Lana's boyfriend. <laughs> See, like we said, true. look, even there was a caution flag. There was right. a caution flag there, but they didn't they didn't pay attention to it. It was fine. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Uh, 502-795-1997. 795-1997. Give us a call. Let us know your story. Advice for Lana, that would be great. We'll do that next on 9970JX. So Lana is dating a guy six months in, and she just wants to be very honest because she has been honest with her friend group that, hey, look, we met on a dating app. He, however, is very kind of private about that whole aspect of how they got together, almost like embarrassed about it. Yeah, he wants a different story. Yeah, exactly. So, And she's like, I don't want to make up a, a story. That This is our story, and it shouldn't be a big deal. Right, exactly. Uh, hey, Valerie. I dated a guy for four years and met him on Plenty of Fish. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the dating website. And we used to tell people that we met at a library, but anybody that really knew us knew both of us didn't read. So it was kind of like an <laughs> inside joke. <laughs> But, yeah, we were together four years, and it went good, but, yeah. So, like, I guess, how would you suggest Lana go about telling her boyfriend, or or are you saying to Lana, just give it time and it'll work itself out? I don't know. What what are you telling her? I mean, I kind of feel like they should tell the truth. I mean, they could make it as a joke that they met at a library, too. (laughs) All right. All right. You're like, the library thing works. It works. It is. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, yeah, you could easily say like grocery store or, you know, you could you could make up any story. But the problem is she's already been honest with her friends. Right. So it's going to start to get awkward if they're telling a different story to people in his circle, because if those circles ever like meet up, then that's going to get weird. 
Yeah, and and already that's going to be weird because when his friend group and your friend group meet for the very first time, sometimes it's just like, how are you two together? Or why do you like this person? Or things like that. You know, it's like sometimes the friend groups can be a challenge for new relationships for sure. But at some point, you're going to have to have this conversation. So I think you just need to rip the Band-Aid off and be like, hey, look, Sean, we're this is how we met. I, you know, don't worry about it. It's 2023. Just tell them exactly. all. Just tell them that there's no stigma here anymore. I think the only way that we can get around this is we have to get him on board with telling the truth because she has already put the story out there with her people. So I think uh, he's obviously got to see that can be bad news right. if we start telling two groups of people two different stories because at some point, if this works out and we get married, no. they're all going to no, be at the No, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Not, not yet. Just best no. case scenario. Sure, best case scenario, but that's not the argument that you take. You just need to. <laughs> oh, you, we don't say that to him. Like, listen, no. Sean, when we get married. Yeah, when we get married, everyone's going to be at the here, wedding, and they're going to ask. And <laughs> what am I going to say? What are we going to say then? <laughs> All right, so we we somehow convince him it's fine. Online dating is fine, and let's not you know shy away from the real yes. story. Yes, yes. Okay. okay, that's what I say. Okay. All right. We what, good? What, what words do we say? Do we say, hey, Sean, quit it. It's fine. Online dating is acceptable. End of story. Shut it down. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just get him on board with it okay. in your own special way, Lana. Okay. And then when we're meeting his friends and family, we just blurt out before he tries to answer the question. We met online. Tinder. Swipe right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yep. Maybe that's that's what we do. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be on board with that, but nah, we're going to try to sure get him fine. on board with it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. All right, there you go. Hey, good luck. <laughs> that's diving into the DMs on 99.7 DJX.